The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Using unparalleled research in the development of a synergistic formulation based around the key concepts of super oxygenation, the next level in cleansing is here. With key ingredients backed by real clinical studies, the new Oxy Powder, available through InfoWars Life, was invented during Dr. Group's research on the toxification of our bodies. Many herbal colon cleansers are harsh on the body and contain cheap and potentially dangerous ingredients, oftentimes full of synthetic fillers, GMOs, additives, or worse. Gently start cleaning your body with easy capsules that start working while you sleep. Oxy Powder does not require time off work, and there's no need for bad tasting concoctions. Instead, Oxy Powder slowly releases monoatomic oxygen into the intestinal tract and body. Experience the astonishing cleansing power of superoxide and ozonide technology. Go to InfoWarsLife.com or InfoWarsStore.com to get started with Oxy Powder or call 1-888-253-3139. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Aging starts at the cellular level. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries. During that period, key patented compounds have focused on mitochondrial growth, nerve growth, and rejuvenation. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. We now have the synergistic solution, DNA Force, just one of the key compounds. BioPQQ is backed by major clinical studies and over 175 PubMed listed published studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? The ultimate value, cutting edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. DNA force from InfoWars Life. It's Alex Jones. Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. We're here live. Back weeknight, 7 o'clock Central with David Knight, Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, and the rest of the great crew. There's so many reporters and crew uh, hosting the news. Why, Darren McBreen hosts the news, and we've got to John Bowne doing reports, and we've got... Rob Dew, the news director, hosting the news, and myself hosting it quite a bit, are doing special reports. Um, folks can find out more at prisonplanet.tv. Uh, I don't believe there's any true silver bullet uh, or magic cure to Ebola. I've looked into it. There are treatments, a whole bunch of them, that are medical treatments um, that clearly... Uh, you know, go from 90% dying to 10% dying. I mean, that's the numbers we've got here. David Knight has written about it. And, and so these aren't treatments we're selling. These aren't things we even have. This would be the medical system. It's just they're not centralized by Monsanto or the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to be one new vaccine or one new drug they roll out that makes $100 billion literally worldwide. <coughs> More virologists have come out over the weekend and said clearly it's mutated. Now they're saying it doesn't just last 70 days in the testicles of men and sperm. Now they're saying they're finding people that it's lasting 41 days in. In fact, guys, I forgot to IM you that or email that this morning in the news list. I think it was Reuters or something, but the headline was uh, 
Ebola can live 41 days in some people, I think was the headline. They're now finding it's not 21, now it's 41. Folks, the flu, you're contagious for a week. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Uh, the, you know, colds, a few days. This is horrible. This is where people just walk around with Ebola for 70 days or 41 days. That's why it's so bad. It kills 70% of people. That's when you get medical care. If you don't, it's like 90. So it is a crisis because they're not even doing things to stop it. Now, that's separately. People in the office said, man, you got a tan. Yeah, I've been going out and getting as much fall sun as I can, taking my kids out to the local community pool, Barton Springs, you know, it's still warm down here in Texas, because it's when that vitamin D and stuff runs out in the deep of winter, three months after no sun, that everybody gets deathly ill. So sunlight, vitamin D, vitamin B12 is what I'm doing. Uh, survival Shield Nason Iodine X2. It's not a total silver bullet, though it's called silver bullet. That's the name before all this of our colloidal silver. I'm taking that. Infowarslife.com. And I'm just doing that to bolster my body's natural defenses. That's the number one thing. You never hear anything in mainstream media about how to prevent Ebola or how to boost uh, your immune system so you don't catch it to begin with. Just like it's always, we're going to beat breast cancer. We're going to find a way to cure it. Well, they know the giant rise in it, it's admitted, is from the estrogen-based tumors. That's over 80% of the breast cancer, almost all the 3,000% increase in the United States, England, and other places we've seen since the 40s. Breast cancer was rare in the 40s and 50s and 60s. Glyphosate in the water grows breast cancer and other cancers uh, in, in, in male and female sexual tissues, like the prostate. Prostate cancer, off the chart. And boy, if you're black and you drink glyphosates, kiss your butt goodbye, because it kills white people, Asians, and Hispanics bad. It, you might as well just stick a fork in yourself if you're black and you're drinking glyphosate. Now, you can look up that number. Look up blacks and glyphosate, or blacks and estrogen mimickers, or black males have double, double, the prostate cancer, double. There's an example right there. They're not telling anyone any of this information. So purified water, that's what I'm personally doing. Consult your own physician. But they don't even teach physicians about nutrition. They don't teach them about sunlight. Cass Sunstein, six years ago, when he first got into power, as the regulations are, wrote public manuals on how to infiltrate alternative media, how to cause infighting, and he also said, we need to start with trying to ban people saying sunlight's good for you. Folks, you will die without sunlight. Too much of it will also kill you. So, it, but, but it's kind of like rocking a hard place. You need it, but it also does end up killing you. But it'll kill you faster if you don't have it. That's why white people are white, because they, they came from north of the equator, where there was a little bit of sun, and if you didn't get it, you'd die. Black people come from the equator, they don't need too much sun, so their skin blocks it. But if you're black and you don't get sunlight, it's even worse than if you're white and don't get it. Look it up. This is what it's all based on. And more and more medical doctors know all this. I don't mean to go off on a jag here about uh, Ebola and the fact that they don't want people to know some of the basic stuff that bolsters your own immune system. Common sense things. Well... The great part about it is these are, in, in, in my view and what I've experienced, life-changing products. You've heard the callers, what it's done. Survival Shield, Nason Iodine X2, DNA Force, Super Male Vitality, Super Female Vitality, Lung Cleanse, Oxy Powder that flushes out your intestines like no other cleanser you've ever seen. All those harsh herbal ones and things I've tried, they certainly do something, but nothing like this, and this is very comfortable. I mean, just try it out, Oxy Powder. That's what Dr. Group says is absolutely essential. 70% of the immune system in the stomach and guts. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And your purchase makes the transmission possible as well. Now, here's an article on the reason David Knight's in studio with us. Ebola hysteria. Two old conspiracies get new life as deadly virus dominates news cycle. And in this International Business Times article, they criticize major papers in Africa because, you know, they're not allowed to have their own papers over there. You know, they're just Africans. What do they know? You know, it's kind of that soft racism from the controlled media and left. Oh, they've got top virologists and people, by the way, in those news articles they link to saying they believe it's a bioweapon. And we have an article on that in the video we're going to play in a few minutes. And 
So they demonize the idea that it's a plan to give us vaccines to reduce population. And then they move along. After demonizing that HIV and Ebola were created by the U.S. as a biological weapon to say that it's an attack on Obama. And it says Infowars.com, a popular website for these types of stories, is also perpetuating the theory the government and pharmacological companies are conspiring to find a way to maximize profitability. Oh, no, they would never do that. Namely, by suppressing a less costly cure to promote their more profitable genetically modified cure. Well, David Knight in his article last week that they linked to and demonized says, is, is a possible Ebola cure being hidden from the public? And then he points out that they took a, a well-known treatment that isn't really a cure, but, but has a huge success rate. Because a cure has to do it all the time, not a treatment, okay? Like they got treatments for heart attacks. Doesn't mean it's a cure for heart disease. It's, just, it's a treatment, and it can sometimes help you. And I wanted David not to talk about this. So, so, so if, if, if this promising treatment isn't good, why are they trying to create one they can make money off of by making it synthetic, making it artificial? See, by changing it like fish oil, changing the molecule, they can then charge you 300 bucks to make you get a prescription. And then under the UN Agenda 21 uh, UNESCO Treaty and Codex Alimentarius run by the big corporations, they can literally ban vitamin C and fish oil as they're doing in Europe or lowering the allowance where you pay 100 euros for a little bottle of vitamin C and the caplets are so weak they do nothing for you. See, they just lower the allowance more and more at Codex Alimentarius until it just does nothing. That's, that's the real thing that's happening. They've already lowered vitamin C, something like 10 times what it was back in the 50s. Linus Pauling won a Nobel Prize for it. So, David, I wanted you to be able to respond to this. Uh, they demonize Kurt saying they want to profit from it and saying vaccines are coming out. They do have vaccines coming out. But, but your story is separate from just the vaccines. We're talking about things that are very uh, promising as treatments that they're trying to synthetically create while blocking the one that's available right now. Big Pharma's famous for this, but they point their finger at you as if they're Moses on the mountain and say, David Knight, he's not allowed to write an article. Only International Business Times has credibility because they said so. David Knight. Yeah, Alex, there's a fundamental contradiction at the bottom of this as to why I wrote the article in the first place. They're telling people, and, and we saw these stories, we covered it on the nightly news back in the middle of September, the fact that there's this large black market in blood of Ebola survivors because that's what people were putting a lot of confidence in. And we've seen Dr. Kent Brantley, who was the very first doctor to be brought back to Emory University outside of the CDC. The people surviving got it. Yes. Duncan he, up in Dallas didn't get it. That's right. He got and and his relatives complained about that. They said, uh, you didn't give him any convalescent serum. You didn't give him a blood transfusion. Actually, you know, like, as you said, it's not necessarily a, a cure. They've had very good results with this, and uh, they've had some tests with it. They had a cure is 100 percent, but it's, right. it's a powerful treatment. That's right. But I mean, it does cure some people, I guess you could say. Exactly. The underlying. Well, they did a study back in the 1995 outbreak with just eight patients, and that's a very, very small population to try to prove that something is effective. But they did a, tr you know, they've, they've given these dosages of ZMAP to only seven patients, and you see the mainstream media touting it as a miracle cure. And then you see the Gates Foundation and the Wellcome Trust pouring millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions into this to try to mass produce it. You've got all these biopharmaceutical companies as well as agricultural pharmaceutical companies gearing up to do this. And you have to look at this and say, why is this a miracle cure when the natural one is unproven? And they'll have to look at it someday in the future. That's what the WHO keeps saying. They say, well, it looks like it might be promising, but you know, we really haven't run any tests on this. And so we really can't pursue that. All they would have to do if they wanted to pursue this treatment would be to cheaply set up a donor registry of blood types so people get the right blood type and then screen it for disease. But they won't. Well, we know Africa is already having massive success with it in the Ebola camps. Yeah. So they already know. That's why, as you said, in the last decade, they produced a synthetic one. And here's and that's the key. Look at how ZMAP works. ZMAP works exactly like convalescent serum has worked for the last 125 years. They had a German scientist win a Nobel Prize for this back in 1901. The idea is similar to a vaccine, except that a vaccine is supposed to give you preventive immunity. This gives you a passive immunity. In other words, when you're already sick with something, they take antibodies, not the disease, but antibodies from somebody who's recovered, and they inject that into the patient. It's really a true vaccine, because you're yeah. getting real living vaccine, a body created right. live, and putting it in.